All right, so Into the Mystic by Van Morrison. This is from his 1970 album, Moon Dance. It was the third album that he'd made. And uh, this is just an awesome album. It's probably, I don't know, for me it's his best one by far. Every song on it is just so good. And he got together such a great band. And a lot of this song to me is... That right there is like one of the biggest hooks to me. And that was played uh, by the guitar player, John... Platania. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name or not, but he's the guy who did all those guitar fills. And I'll go over those later, but um, that those fills make it, and the piano fills too. You know, if you just listen to the song and just focus on the piano, there's just some beautiful fills. They're just perfect, right? And his name was Jeff Labes, Labes. Again, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, he did a lot of work with Bonnie Raitt as well. Anyways, let's get into this. It's really super basic, right? There's only two or three chords. So we're in the key of E flat. We've got the capo on the third fret, but we're playing in like C shapes. So we've got a C, I'll just call it a C, a G, and then an E minor, an F, and a C, and that is it, right? But it's really a matter of getting the feel. So we're gonna start like this. Right there, you know, so we're gonna hammer on that E note and really hit that hard. Dun, 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 dun. You know, it's, it's a feel. Da, 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 right? And then you've got to do a mute and a downstroke. Like that. And what I do is, it's really hard to mute that E string, so I'm going to kind of try and hit. When I slash, I'm going to try and hit from the D string down. I'm going to try to do that. And after that slash, then we're just open with that D string. And it's just down, up, down, down, up, down, right? And then we we'll repeat it. After that slash, we're going to go. And after the drums come in, then the guitar stops slashing and it just is pretty well straight up and down the whole time. And, you know, until the singing comes in, it's always. Then it's just up and down. Goes to a G. And you can just jam it out, you know, like, right? Or, it's, there's a lot of improvisation and when they reissued this in 2013 they remastered it and that was on disc one and disc two three and four were all <laughs> like outtakes uh, sessions and you can hear on into the mystic there's all uh, every time they play it it's completely different the fills are different he sings it different right so all right and then um we stay in into the mystic and after the second verse, right, then we go to this E minor. To the F and C. just goes on like that. It's really, that's all there is. C, G, E minor, F. Okay, 
and it's just a matter of getting that feel down. And you know, a lot of people think strumming uh, is easy. <laughs> and you know, the idea of strumming is easy, right? It's like how hard, how hard can that be? But you know, if you put on a click track and You know, you've got to be really, really accurate and in time with that. You don't want to slow down. You don't want to speed up, right? Obvious, I know, but um, it's harder than it seems. Now let's get on to the fills. So the fills are going to be like that. So that's an E flat, but I'm going to call that a C. So we're in that shape. We've got a third finger on one, two, three, four, fifth fret of the G, and little finger on fifth fret of the B. And I'm just going to bar across there. I don't need to bar the G really, but just the, the B and the E. And we're going to do that. And I'm hybrid picking, so I've got my pick on the G, second finger on the B string, third finger on the high E. And that's how it starts. And then we're going to go. I tried to get these exact um, for the, you know, for my demo, um, but honestly, like I said earlier, they, it, it's different every time. It's more of a feel thing, and if you just know you're in that area, you know, you can just jam it out, really, if you're going to play this with somebody else. But So that's the first one. And then... So much younger than the sun. And as we go to that G, we've got the sixths, right? And our bonnie boat was one as we sail into the mystic. Really, you have to listen to the track to get the timing. And then second verse. It's an idea, it's a concept really, you know. And then we've got the hook of the song. That's the signature of this song for me. And that's over the E minor. So we've got the open G, the open E. Then G2, E2. And then G4, uh, E3. When the cold wind blows, then to an F. To the C. And then on the F, he's going to go... Same thing, right? And then on the G, you know, your gypsy soul right and that part there the fill is so cool so he's gonna go and if you're gonna get any fill exact get that one because that is so good it works with the vocals so nicely It's three on this. It's like that C sus four kind of, right? Two, three. Take your little finger off and hammer it on.
Then, it's <laughs> so good. And then we get into that really hooky horn line. And I'll show you both those parts on acoustic. Although when I recorded my demo, I did um, I, I did acoustic and electric just to give it more body. So the first one is going to be up here. So we're going to start on one, two, three, four, five of the B string. And you can you know snap those or just pick them. I think when I I overdubbed those, so I just did it with a hard pick to get them really clear. So it's just. And that's a pull off from uh, B3 to B1, and then uh, G2 to open G, and then just slide up to back to the C note. I mean, we you know again we know that's E flat, right? But I'm just trying to keep it all together here and uh, staying with the same naming sequence. So, so we're calling that a C. So. Now, just two, five, two, five on D string, G string, ending on that third of the G chord, right? and then so we're ending on that minor seven. Then okay. And then the other, the low part would be. It's so good. Actually, I think I went and hammered on that uh, C note from nowhere. Or you could pick it. And then just sliding up one to two on the D string. parts in this song are, are really simple um, but it's the feel and the vibe anyways I just the melody I just put on this as an afterthought because you know my demo was super empty uh, without some melody so I just threw on that guitar melody I just did it in one take basically um, just felt my way through it you know so I'm going to show you that. I'm not going to get too crazy specific on it, but I'll show you, you know, the whereabouts it was, and, and I'll just sort of play it slow and show you how I did it. Um, but again, you know, it's more, it's, there's nothing to it. It's super dead simple, but it's a matter of feel and expression. Um, and that's what you got to focus on when you're, when you're playing stuff like that. All right, so for the melody, um, we're in the key V flat, and we're just kind of, kind of be in this position, position five. Major pentatonic, and going up into position one. Kind of in there, right? And it's just, um, I've got delay on quite a bit. It's about 500 milliseconds, 535, I think it is. And I'll put reverb on after I've recorded it in the DAW. And I've got my compressor on. And I'm just using my fingers, so it's just, I'm just picking out the melody. 
you know, trying to play with as much feel as I can. You know, and all in there. And when you have this much delay, what I like to do is I like to give it a little space to breathe, right? So. And on that, like, I just like to keep everything on the B string. So I like the sound of the B string. Um, okay, really, there's nothing to it, really. It's just a matter of... Um, you know, I'm just, I'm actually, again, like I did my Stormy Weather uh, video last week, I'm just grabbing the string and actually, you know, pinching it between those and popping it, right? And then, uh, and then, You know, just kind of playing it the way I'm feeling it. Um, like when I recorded it, I recorded two or three takes, but I just kept the first one because it was the best one. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. Um, it's really super simple once you... you get into that that shape it's really you know, pretty simple to put it together all right so that's it for the melody part okay so I hope you got enough out of that um, that lead explanation there like I said I didn't get too specific but you get the idea that it's more feel and expression really than it is you know like a whole bunch of notes um, anyways that's it for this one. I really hope you get something out of it. Um, I think basically it's more of a rhythm thing, you know. Um, I guess what most people will be tuning in for. So, like I said, I hope you get something out of it. I hope you enjoy playing. It's one of the greatest songs ever written, I think. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.